Okay, my next project is actually isn't something I wanted to do, but I gotta hold my camera. So I'm gonna build something out of my connects to stabilize the camera for my YouTube videos. I have a, to scrap this thing. It was an older project where I was trying to actually hold something in there. Well, it's all torn apart now, but the paper is meant to isolate the sunlight coming in. You know what? I was told not to make these intro videos too long. But, they aren't the ones doing it. I have some old attempts of producing electricity here. Oh wow, I can't wait to build this camera holder. I can actually use two hands in the videos. I was actually making electricity with the magnets. Trying out perpetual motion, of course. What inventor hasn't tried that? Copper spring. But yeah, I'm just, I gotta get to the connects. Ooh, prism. Had some fun with that. Copper to melt down. Ooh. Actually, I've got other projects in mind with that copper. Alright, I'm gonna start tearing all this apart so I can build myself something out of these connects to support my camera and I'll be able to record what I'm doing instead of shutting down the camera so I can use two hands I can actually build something while recording it but I'm gonna go off camera tear all my stuff apart this is a failed design I just was testing it out here meant to be telescopic so you can adjust different you know angles or whatever but it's a fail because it does not take weight like when I put my phone on it it just falls over I could add another leg but I don't think that'll help the solution the telescopic feature does not work so well I put the little bit of a tension onto the springs pulling them apart so you start to narrow or pulls apart so that way when I push like on a weight it's so it stays at the bottom kind of works but like I was just saying it's too flimsy of a stable like the phone goes on it and it's just really flimsy bouncy so this design is a fail and besides I was kind of hoping this would you know be a lot smaller when put away it doesn't fold together I haven't even built the harness on top yet but that was gonna be my next step if I like the tripod or quad pod whatever it'll turn out to be I don't like it I'm gonna try a new one all right I've been trying out different designs to make my legs telescopic I got this one and this one. This one has times three, I guess, capability. And this one has times four. But the problem with them is both of them are flimsy. And yes, my room is a total mess. And yes, at long last, I have something I'm going to use. I have, I can't use it right now because I need to actually show it. Here it is. I do not have the telescopic legs, but they're too flimsy. I don't know if you guys can see the whole contraption. But let me see if I get it working in action. Man, I cannot wait to have two hands available. Okay. See? Easy. One hand setup. It has an angle downward. This isn't my recording phone, but it fits better. 
This right here is a little latch. That is not the phone I'm going to be using. My other phone's really bigger. But it goes in there. Oh, the battery fell out. Okay. Goes in there. Closes shut. Hopefully with the phone in staying in. And it stays in there. It has an angle down, but I want to get, you know, I have to set it up higher somehow. Let's take a look at the interior. This, see the little pegs here? It's to stop my legs from spreading out too far. This right here stops my leg from going out too far this way. This little blue pe like extension here stops my center leg from going between my other legs. Hmm. Giggity. Yeah, one hand set up. But yeah. See? It stops it from extending too far by hitting that. This design right here is so that it angles it forward. I don't know if you can see it, but. Oh, the shadow of myself. I intentionally gave it so it angled forward. So it would aim down when I have it at higher heights. Gives it that look I was going for. I wanted it to be adjustable, but it's not. It's not adjustable at all. I'm kind of upset that I couldn't get it to be adjustable, but there's a price to pay when you make it adjustable. It becomes really, really unstable. I mean, it's already bouncy enough, but it holds, it comes, it returns to its position. Unlike the other one, it was really unstable. So I like it. Maybe I'll take it apart and show you how it's pieced together. my best to show you how this is built I did it in a connect style format you know when you used to look through those books how to build those connect models well that's what I did here I would really like to show you all my ideas I had during this building process I mean I had tons of ideas I was going to actually add motors to it so I can turn it around as I record but that would take way too much time. And if you like this video, like, subscribe. I'll make some more.